Testing, testing, one, two, three. And one, two, one, Neville, two. Former Irish captain, general superstar. <laughs> crowd went wild. Oh, you're a pro, Adrian. <laughs> we good? Yeah, one, two, one, two. Perfect, thank you. Only just get them on and off oh when yeah, you can. No, yeah. just say if you're the first, just have you yeah. three sticks off.
going that way. I say the wrong side. Yes. So do you need jack or anything? No, no. Fine, thank you. Okay. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Ashbourne for the first match in this nation in this year's RBS Six Nations Women's Rugby. I'm Adrian O'Farrell. I'm joined by Joy Neville, 70 times capped, former Irish international and ex-Irish captain. Joy, we've got a, a, a cracking evening for a game despite the inclement weather of recent weeks, and uh, I think we're looking looking set for uh, a cracking game this evening. Absolutely, Adrian. I mean. You always find in Ashburn that the facilities, the, the pitch conditions are superb, you know. And uh, tonight there was talks of, of a storm. I think that's going to take uh, take set maybe later tonight. So hopefully it'll stay dry and provide us with an exciting, expansive game of rugby.
Well, as you can hear, the Irish crowd are in fine voice, and really, there, there, there's an air of great expectation yeah. about this season in the light of last year's heroics, which you were a central part of, Joy. Absolutely. I mean, you always find that you have great support here in Ashburn. I couldn't speak uh, more highly about about Ashburn and the welcome committee that you, that they have here, and 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 just how great they are, and and how 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 supportive they are of the Irish women. So, absolutely, again, great numbers, I suppose. That's uh, that's the consequence of how successful that the girls and we have been in the, in the last year. Absolutely, years. it's a there's a good bandwagon getting going. We're all Absolutely. happy to climb on board. <laughs> so Nora Stapleton is just set to kick off and get the season underway. Time on. Has to be said, Ireland have to be heavy favourites for this, having beaten Scotland 30 points to three last year. A nice tactic there from Nora. She uh, last minute swapped sides, kicking to the right side Ireland instead of the left to set up. Mark. Nine out to Scotland. Make sure you're two and two, please. So it's a it's quite an experimental and young Scottish team that they're fielding this evening. Do you give them much hope to, tonight, or do you expect I do, this to be Adrian, a comfortable victory for Ireland? I do because uh, Adrian, I, th I reckon that a lot of uh, a lot of teams in the championship this Not year won't with. give uh, Scotland the respect that they're that they're due. Uh, they do have a, a young side and they have a new management as well, but I think it's a welcomed uh, change. Uh, a couple of new caps, I think there what there's four uncapped players uh, on the squad this year, and three of which who were injured last Six Nations who were involved in actually starting in this game against Ireland. Mm. Against what is a very settled Irish team. I mean, you're the only player really that's uh, unavailable from, from last year's uh, lineup. So um, they are missing what Neil Briggs, who was um, a pivotal player last year, is on the bench having had a, a leg injury and is just on her way back. Um, but it is a, an Irish team that, that's full of experience and, and no shortage of talent. Absolutely not. I mean, you have Fiona Coffin in, in the forwards leading the pack and then you've got Lynn Cantwell with 74 caps and a massive amount of experience and, and talent. So Jenny Murphy takes it up the middle of the first play and that's great. That's a great burst by Jenny Murphy straight into her stride. She's a great player Jenny Murphy. Very very hard to get down when she's running full speed. Absolutely. That's well picked up by uh, Stacey Lee Kennedy there. Stapled it again and again it's Lynn Cantwell showing great feet. There's she in the corner. Just L drive short. down, just a little Rock short. Ball. You can't see much from here, Adrian, but there it's well, out again. Move it to Sophie Spence, trucks it up. Two blue. And they have numbers wide, Scotland shifting across. And that's quick ball right under the, in the shadow of the post. And to move it right, but that's, I think, knocked down, but it's going to come back to a penalty. Penalty advantage, a great crash up ball there from Jenny Murphy. Mm -hmm. Uh, brought in the, the, the Scottish defence, leaving a gap on the outside where Lynn Cantrell was close to scoring there in the, the left hand side. So Claire Hodnett, the English referee, towards the first penalty in Ireland. Okay, opting to go for the juggler straight away, knocking it into the corner rather than going for the three points. That's a good sign, I suppose, it shows confidence um, in their lineup. So mm -hmm. I know they've been working quite hard. Philip is has always been very instrumental with the line so hopefully they're they're strong here. Mm -hmm. So Mary Louise Riley you would think. But no they go to the front and oh, that's a great move worked around and and it looks Hello. like Sophie Spence is in in the corner. Half of the Irish team were jumping up and down and yes Sophie Spence is coming back from the corner right. looking very happy and Claire Hodner raises the, the arm. That's a great move uh, that Ireland have, and you know, used not too far from the try line. It's great to see that it, it's mm. worked so su successfully. I know they was used in the last World Cup, and again, scoring a couple of tries from that. So it's brilliant to see Sophie Spence scoring a try there. Yeah, well, it certainly fooled the Scots. There was uh, quite a big space left at the front of the line there. So Neve Briggs normally would be the penalty taker and the, the face kicker, but. Uh, Nora Stapleton will take this on. It's a, a tough one. It'll be a very tough kick line. to uh, get over, but I mean, uh, Nora Stapleton has been working extremely hard in her, in her uh, kicking ability, so I, I mean, it'll be great to see her get this. She got a very tight angle there.
Great attempt, unfortunately. Good strike, yeah, just a little, little to the left. She wouldn't have quite the range of, uh, of Neve Briggs. Neve is a, a very big kicker. Briggs, he would have a lot, an awful lot of power behind yeah, her legs, yeah. you know. So, um, I mean, it was a great, a great attempt, just a little left and yeah. a little short. Unlucky. So Ireland off to a flyer. Lisa Martin for Scotland will restart. Fine drop out. Taken up by Fiona Coughlin. And uh, Amy Davis is one of the newer players. Joy, Amy's what been do you around for yeah. the last few years, and to be honest, she um, she's oh, she's she actually started quite a number of the international games in the last few years with Larissa Muldoon coming in and, and uh, taking that starting position. So I mean, I suppose this is a great opportunity for Philip Doyle to try out new new uh, new yeah. players in, in different positions. So one of the things that uh, just looking at the Irish team back. last year, tremendous balance Stop between uh, you know a very solid pack. But also a very, um, a very capable backline. There was, you wouldn't necessarily say that you know that it's a, it's a forward-dominated game or it's a, or the strength in the back. It's extremely well balanced. Definitely, I definitely have to concur there. And it's great to have that because not many teams would have that advantage. And that's gone straight in from uh, Lisa Martin there. Ten meter line. Ten meter line. The line out there, Ireland. The ten meter line, attacking. It's great to see so many different jumping options too. You got Siobhan Fleming, Heather O'Brien, uh, Mazzy, Mary, Mary Marley, uh, O'Reilly, and uh, Sophie Spence. I mean, Claire Malloy actually. You have a combination yeah. of five jumpers in the middle. So that's Mary Louise O'Reilly on this occasion, and that's a neat little break there by Amy Davis. Fiona Cockton, a lovely left-hand spin pass from a, from a prop. No. Wouldn't have happened in my day. Well, that's a beautiful backline move. And that's going to be in the corner. No, that's not Anna quite. Casey Hold in down. New position. The debut. Uh, Anna Casey, yeah. Just short the line. Fiona Coffin taking it on. Rock Ireland pressing on the Lee. line. Just one out. Is she over? No. Not quite. Jenny Jenny Miller. Again. Jenny Murphy rather taking it up. On the side. And again, they have numbers left. Ireland, if they can spin a wide. Nora Stapleton, but takes it on herself. Just under, held under the post. Again, if they can get a quick ball here. But. Uh, We've got Sophie Spence again going in. I think they have a massive overlap here on the left hand side. Mary Lee Riley uh, shouting for the ball. They need to spin they it can't out. That's Sophie Spence can. Now. can she offload? Not quite. Hold down just short. A drive for the live again. They're just held up. Music. Amy Davis waiting. That's taken on again up front. Ada Sheegan taking the ball on there. I think she probably can be held up. I think yeah. Ireland would be quite disappointed in that, Adrian. I mean, there was a, a, a three, four man overlap. Yeah. Mary, Mary Louise O'Reilly uh, shouting for the ball there in the wing and uh, getting caught up with Sophie Spence taking it up rather than spinning it out. I think maybe the, yeah. the, their line was too flat. They needed to be deeper in order to get yeah. that pass away. Good defence by Scotland, in fairness, but it's, uh, it's, it's early season stuff still. They'll just be finding their feet, really. Absolutely. It's first game together as well. You have to keep that into mm. account. So Amy Davis to feed in a very strong attacking position now for Ireland. Alison Miller in a threatening position, possibly going to join. Looking to wrap around, but it, that's offside. Heather O'Brien doing well in the back of the scrum, popping the ball off to Amy Davis. I think it's a penalty for offside. Amy Davis takes it quickly, has a little dart. Heather O'Brien in beside her. Fiona Coughlin involved. Stacey Lee Kennedy, but not quite. Again, held up over the line. I think you'll see quite a lot of that, where the ball will be tried to be uh, smothered and held up. I mean, if, if, they, if the Irish girls can get in a better, yeah. lower position, I think it would be a, a massive advantage to them. Mm. Once again, very promising position for Ireland. It's, you know, it's been pretty one-way traffic so far. The Irish will be keen just to nail this early and take some of these opportunities. Heather O'Brien takes it and goes. Can't quite get around that side, but Nora Stapleton pops it to Alison Miller, and that's a lovely run. Is she over? Try. Yes, Excellent. that's a super try by Alison Miller. 
Well done to Heather O'Brien there. I mean, in a new position at eight, it can be quite stressful at times, you know, and taking the ball on, getting off a successful pass yeah. to release Nora Stephen, to release Dali Miller. Again, what a try scoring machine. Great to see Ali get another five points on the board. Yeah, she was one of the standout performers last year, and again, I saw she was top scorer in the Dubai Sevens there for Ireland. She's a flyer. I think the Sevens could have been very beneficial to Ali. You know, I, I played alongside her in the Sevens there two years ago, and she just, you, it's very visible to see that she gained massive confidence through mm. it, and her skill set improved uh, tremendously as well. So, I mean, scoring a hat trick against England, I suppose, that says a lot for that. Yeah, she was absolutely terrific that day. I mean, she so Nora Stapleton with a more central kick now. That's a fine strike. I'll do her confidence, no end of good. So just 10 minutes in and Ireland 10 points to the good. Well, or 12 points, up, actually, yeah, to the good, absolutely. yeah. To be honest, I didn't think that they'd break away so early. Uh, Adrian, you know I thought nerves would, would kick in and trying to get the combinations right, but it's great to see already two tries in the, uh, you know, in the basket. So I suppose on the, the other way, looking at it is a, a, a young and relatively inexperienced Scottish side coming to the face of the Grand Slam champions. They must, they must be more Quite nervous. Daunting. Quite daunting, but you know, in, in another way, they've nothing to lose. You know, they haven't been doing yeah. very well in the last three seasons they've been wooden, wooden spooners, so I mean they have absolutely nothing to lose. They may as may as, as well throw in everything they yeah. have, you know. So I I expected them to be a little bit better defensively to be honest. So a rare mistake there from Ireland as that's knocked down. I think it might have been Heather O'Brien. Um so scrums to Scotland. The first chance for Scotland to get a foothold into Irish territory. It's quite strange seeing a sponsor in the front of the jersey there, Adrian, like um Owen you know coming on board this year it's, it's absolutely brilliant to see the support um having no sponsor in the last few years i mean just it's upwards and onwards from here you know, oh well it, it's great and talking to fiona Steed last year she was recounting how they were you know the team would go to amsterdam and they'd all be you know uh six of them in a room kind of thing and uh, mattress is on the on, on the floor <laughs> so to see this this the whole build up of momentum and sponsorship coming in and you know, Fiona Coughlin being Irish Sportswoman of the Year, um, which is really, I suppose, a, 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 a testament to the team. Well deserved as well at that. Uh, a penalty there to Ireland. Um, it was a scrum to Scotland, and they they, 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 they went against the head, providing a penalty to Ireland. I think uh, Scotland in, went in from the side there. Mm -hmm. I think it was their number Tiny. three. The ball wasn't out. Lindsay Smith. We go, guys. So a chance for Ireland to get on the front foot again, just inside the Scottish half. Stacey Lee Kennedy to throw in. Again, Ireland, bit of movement in the line as Sophie Spence moves up. And that's very well taken by him. Um, Knock on there Mary from Louise Davis. Riley. It'll be a scrum down Scotland. It's great to see actually uh, Stacey Kennedy there. She threw the ball in. I mean, she's a fabulous start. And that's three line outs in a row. And, and the, and the mm. dart's been straight to hand. So. She's actually yep. been working on that. And she hasn't uh, that much uh, game time in, in previous years, but you'd, you'd be quite surprised at the fact that she's great versus speed, and when she has the ball, she's, she's quite exciting um, with ball in hand. Crouch. Scottish hooker is quick too. Five. Yeah. Her name is Sarah Quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a good battle actually because uh, Jill Burke. Against the head again. Is, yeah, Heather a good uh, takes, Heather the takes the it on. Lock. Amy Davis away, Nora Stapleton. Skip pass. Wide, splitting Good. Well. And Alison Miller, can she take up her up the wing? She can indeed. Just taken down. There's a good defensive tackle there. Amy Davis again. Ireland have a chance to move it wide. And again, that's, that's good tackling in the centre by Scotland. Nora Stapleton taking it on. Again, Alison Miller, a clean pair of heels, and got outside her. Absolutely. She, her could have, she went to the out wide, she could have passed, popped it back into Jenny Murphy there, it was unfortunate that she didn't get the pass away. However, there, we still retain the ball in the middle of the, the, the park, inside the 22. Go on, Fiona Coughlin. Fiona Coughlin. Davis, Lynn Cantwell. Great Nora Stapleton 
Oh, not quite able to link with Alison Miller down the line. Perfect. Again, Cantwell. Nice little summy Stacey. run there. Well played, Stacey Lee Kennedy. That's driven over the line, not quite. Again, no. just so short. Davis. I think that would be a penalty. I, I would have thought so, but uh, referee Hodnett yeah, is staying on and has offered it the other way. I don't know if I would agree with that, Adrian. I mean, uh, it was obvious that uh, the Spanish uh, number five. Seem to be offside, yeah. Amy, uh, Amy Davis trying to get the ball away. But for some reason, she's have to give a penalty to Scotland. Got a contact. Um, it's nice to see that they're 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 s able to predict what the Scottish are the way they're defending. Uh, you saw there, there was a, a skip pass from mm. Norris Stapleton providing a gap on the outside where Alison Miller went down the wing. And you can see yeah, again, yeah. Lynn Cantwell really is the, the distributor in chief there at centre. Yeah. She's Absolutely. lovely hands. If anything, you have two tens on the pitch. Yeah, because Norris, Norris Stapleton's got super understanding of time and Absolutely. space and, and passing ability. And with herself and Lynn Cantwell and the direct running of Jenny Murphy allied to the pace of Alison Miller, it really is a potent unit. Definitely. You have to remember then uh, as well last year at the start of the season, Lynn Cantwell was uh, in the number 10 uh, mm. jersey for the first few games. So, I mean, she is knowledge as, as, as much as, as anyone. Yeah, and you can see they're very comfortable in the role. Okay, Tracy. Okay. Time back on. 40, 30, so Scotland 30, now with the chance to clear the lines. Lisa Martin from under the sticks. Quite a distance to the touchline there, so she hasn't able been able to get huge distance on it. In fact, yes. hasn't quite made touch, and it's well taken on the wing there by the yes. Scottish player. And they try to drive out and create a bit of a bit of space for the out half to clear. I don't think she would have been too happy with that. No. That was a near disaster. Oh, that's after being stolen. brilliantly robbed. I think that was Claire Malloy, was it? By Claire Malloy, yeah. She is an unbelievable uh, uh, resource to have Fiona to see Cochran the run. again. Oh, Jenny Murphy, good hands, great Jenny take, Murphy great offload off. for a pass Murphy. given. Yeah, Claire Malloy last year, she was in instrumental there in the rock area. The amount of ball she stole. Again, it was unlucky it didn't pay off there. It was a four pass, but definitely a, a try opportunity just missed. Some stats there for you, Adrian. The last eight encounters that Ireland have had with Scotland, uh, they have they've won every one. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a very uh, comprehensive uh, statistic, really. Yeah, you're removing the tension from this. <laughs> uh, Twelve nil up, and uh, on the base of all available levels, you got to think this is going to be fairly comfortable for Ireland. I would think so. Got him though working it out of the fence there. He's in the short side. Inside. Lisa Martin to clear. In saying that, Scotland seem to be an awful lot more composed and, and, they, and, and have a, a better understanding of what they're trying to achieve. And a clearance there from Scotland. From Scotland. Well, when, the, when you played Scotland last year, it was an awful day, wasn't it? Terrible. So it was you know, 30 points to three. It, it was. I think it was 30, 30 minutes into the game before we scored our first Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. so it was. Uh, this is a far better evening to on which to judge the respective merits of both teams, I think. So, Davis, well that's a lovely pass to North Stapleton. Oh, oh, good hands. Well, well taken, done. Jennifer. Link Cantrell again. Can she free it to Alison Miller? Oh, not quite. Oh. Tried to find her over the top. Link Cantrell trying to pass off and being intercepted by yeah. a Scottish player. Very unlucky. And again, Jenny Murphy's been very well at the first uh, 12 position. Scotland again try to drive it around the, the corner. Scotland trying to hold up the ball here. I think it could be a mall. If they can yeah. hold it up, it'll be a scrum down Ireland. We the have. they've turned it over. That's great strength there. Use it. Brilliant turnover. 15 yards out from the try line. Sophie Spencer. Davis now. Options right and left. Goes right to Stapleton. To Heather O'Brien. That's a good burst from Heather O'Brien. Is she over? Yes, yeah, she is. Great first place, Janet, by Heather O'Brien. It's a great try from Heather O'Brien. I mean, she's a great turn of speed as well, and she took her opportunity. She caught inside and ran about 15, 15, 15 yards. Yeah, great she didn't try. Didn't need to be asked twice there, did she? An extra step on both backlines. Now that that Joy Neville is gone, she can and really flower. 
nothing big enough that to hole certainly has been filled Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard thing to say sometimes <laughs> I won't I lie know. I know it's emotional <laughs> but you're enjoying the extra free time aren't oh, you oh I am yeah. <laughs> I am so almost 20 minutes in Ireland 17 Scotland nil three tries and Nora Stapleton with a chance for the afters as well you have to remember against Scotland they're, they're 10 uh, they're 12 and they're 7 who were all um, injured last year in the Six Nations who are all starting today so I mean there's an awful lot of new combinations but mm. between three of them there's well over 50 caps which is a great uh, mm. ten. 10 can we get a message well. back to the place because of the day like the crowd got that one a little wrong they thought that was over but actually it was just to the to the right Tracy. And White, so score we remains at 17 0. Set the breakdown, please. Yep. The mix to forward and uh, back strides. Great to see. Not too long ago, it was always back strides, so it's always good Just to see some sure forward names on the, on the score sheet, you know? Not, not the teams <laughs> I was playing on. <laughs> <laughs> and that back when we started, back 10 years ago, there was no <laughs> score on the score sheet. No, look, it's completely different games than when I was playing it's just anyway. Brilliant. <laughs> So Stofi Spence, good take, lays that clean ball. Henry Davis, Murray Louise arrives, right, lovely little off road. And Claire Malloy takes it up. Davis again to the left, Stapleton. Kenny Murphy. Mm, that would be Decides to take it on herself, but yeah. again, she's very strong. But that's I think Jenny Murphy went to, uh, to go for a, a switch there with Cantwell. She didn't take her up on that yeah. offer, and unfortunately, she went behind her back doing a crossing movement. Yeah. Trying to take Scotland. Lisa Martin finds her touch. Bring it play just outside the Irish 22. Ladies, here's your mark. It'd be interesting to see whether and how they, they counter this, this line out. I'm sure they'll stay clear of, uh, of uh, Mazzy there and her height. Yeah, it's hard to know where they'll throw because I mean, the Irish actually do look, I mean, they look a little bigger, a little taller throughout, don't they? That's a little messy, but well away. That's a beautiful pass by the Scottish scrum half there, Sarah Law. And it's a good offload by open side, Ruth Slavin there. But broken Great down. tackle by, Great by Hannah Casey. That's a one way to announce yourself in the team, Absolutely. isn't it? I think she's known as Chopper for, for her crunch, crunching tackles, so she definitely did one there. Then Cantrell to Fiona Coughlin and Alison Miller is away. Can she skin there on the outside? Yes, she can. Oh, Miller. She's going to go Great with the try. Great try. Typical Alison Miller try. That's really a typical awesome. Alison Miller try. I mean, she is some turn of, of speed. She goes down the wing. She steps inside and back outside and, and burns uh, the defender on the outside. Great try. The second try of the evening for Alison Miller. She'll be looking for a hat-trick, no doubt, again, Adrian. And... Uh, the bonus point try, if it were. <laughs> Wonderful. Bring the score to 22 nil after 22 minutes. Number 10. It's great to see how composed Ireland are, and they seem to be very focused. Thank you. Yeah, there's no sense of rush, really, or panic. Even when there's an error made, they, they just regroup very quickly. That's more to please. In fairness, I think they know that they have the weapons. Absolutely. So Nora Stapleton again, similar kick to her, her first one. But she missed just on the near side, so let's see if she can go a little better. No, it was a little worse. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she didn't quite get hold of that one, but uh, I mean, it's a very, very, very hard kick to uh, yeah. to get over those those bars, but good, good attempt. Again, I think she's lacking a bit of power that you'd see uh, Neve yeah, Briggs. Yeah, Neve definitely, definitely has have, the you know? uh, the extra yardage there. Be uh, an opportunity for Philip Doyle to to give his full squad a run. I think this evening. Absolutely, 
And it's a great advantage to have that opportunity yeah. as well. That's well taken by Ailey yeah, Jeegan of Fiona Cochran, I think. Yeah. That's a little loose and scrappy. But again, Ireland regroup well. Davis away to Stapleton. Jenny Murphy takes it up again. Great strength from Jenny Murphy. That's that's terrific play. Some power in that in Jenny Murphy's legs. Yeah. Great play. Davis again, Stapleton, Cantwell. Oh, lovely pass. offload. And the outside, Ali Miller again. Again, Alison oh, Miller. Again, she beats her the first side. defender. And it just hauled down. Good tackle by Ali Stephanie Murray Johnston there. Miller in that occasion stepping in the inside, which is good to see she's mm -hmm. mixing it up a bit. Spence to Davis. That's a uh, good effort by... Uh, Counter rock to Scotland have ball. Yeah, that was very well played by Lisa Martin there to get in. No scrimmage. You see Jonah Cotton going into the full back position, which is well needed. Sarah Quick takes it on. Back row, Lindsay Wheeler, the tall number eight. Martin again moves it wide. And knocked down in the end. Scrum down to the floor. Great attack again. There seems to be an awful lot of attacking going down this left wing. It's good. We can we can see it better from yeah. <laughs> Great for us. <laughs> Again, though, you see it in Canterbury. Great understanding of, of time and space. You ju she just had to get out to that extra That's one, uh, that last, uh, the second defender, yeah. defender and, uh, and create the space for for Jackie Shields. I think Ali Miller may have hurt herself in the last uh, in the last play. She's limping slightly, so hopefully she's, she'll be okay. So I just think with Jenny Murphy, they'll, they'll, they'll forecast her crash crash up so I mean you could use her now as a dummy runner and, and hit it on the outside yeah. I'm sure it'll create space come down the short side Nora Stapleton oh, oh nearly oh. away she just couldn't quite get Nora was very unlucky there. Behind there she got through the defence just as she was popping off to Jenny yeah, Murphy she knocks out. it on very unfortunate as Jenny Murphy would be through for a try So in overall terms of the Six Nations, would you make Ireland favourites to retain their the championship? England? That's a, it's, a, it's a big, <laughs> hard question to answer, but I mean, it's something that we did last year, is we took game by game and, and just focused on each game that, 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 we, that we had, you know, so I think they need to focus on that and, and not overthink uh, retaining the, their title, you know? Sometimes yeah. you can uh, overthink things and too much pressure will come on board and, and uh, it, it turns to underperforming. So. Very powerful scrum there from Ireland, just driving Scotland off their own ball and created the turnover. So Amy Davis will put this one in. And then again, another very promising attacking position for Ireland. They seem to be very strong in the, in the, the scrum, Adrian, turning yeah. over one against the head, getting a penalty. And now again uh, against the head. So that's three, three scrums that Scotland had that Ireland are after winning. Great play. Peter Bracken will be very, very happy with that. He's the, uh, the scrum coach. Yeah. The great scrum coach at that. Yeah. Great experience. Absolutely. Femi Davis feeds again. The Irish scrum just trundles forward. Lovely ball. Saved and takes. Alison Miller in from the blind side. Offloads. Link Cantrell a little step. Just quick ball again. Davis goes right, Stapleton. Uh, oh, it's a loose unlucky. enough pass. And, uh, Picked up by Hannah Casey. Hannah Casey picks up and recovers. Great. Kept it in play, which is brilliant. Now to Norris. go again. Oh, uh, Roy's doing very well in those loose exchanges, isn't she? That's, that's her, uh, her forte. Mm. She's brilliant in those hey, areas. Green, you must move. Uh, on this occasion, Ireland not rolling away. Yeah, penalty to Scotland, unfortunately. Ace green, not rolling. They should be happy, in fact, they haven't given away too many penalties to so far. So if they can keep that down, I think uh, they'll be happy with that. Lisa Martin not finding touch on touch this occasion. Oh, that's so a terrific run by Hannah Casey. Casey. She's doing quite well, actually, 28 minutes into the game. She's, she's made herself very visible. Very clever by Lynn Cantrell to use Nora Stapleton on the loop there. Again, Miller. Miller, is she away? Not quite this time. Oh 
Scandling can't roll in the pivot well, position. Well, Jackie, she is through. Oh, through second person, last person to beat. Steals, pops off Lynn Cantwell. Lynn Cantwell. Come on, Lynn. She's Lynn, in. Yeah, she got the leg. She has, you know. Well done. Well done, Super Jackie Shields. Again. Jackie Shields actually had been in and, in and out of the Irish squads since, I was thinking about this today, probably 2009, maybe earlier, and was fortunate and very unfortunate to stay within the squad. She has eight caps to date. I think today being her night, so it's great to see her creating such a, a try, a try scoring chance. She pop off to Lynn Cantwell. Yeah, I mean the 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 less experienced players are, are performing very well. You know, Heather O'Brien's taking her chance very well. Uh, Jackie Shields, Hannah Casey. Hannah Casey. Yeah. Uh, That's a good sign of a of a squad, a squad of yeah. uh, 20, 26, 28 rather than just the, the starting. Well, you look down the Irish bench Fishing. and there's. Uh, just terrific experience down that that lineup. Larissa Muldoon, Grace David, Neve Briggs, Jill Burke, Fiona Hayes. I mean, Kerry Ann Craddock. They're all fairly seasoned at this stage, and absolutely. I mean, I'm looking at the the, the sub uh, list here, and I mean, you have well over 140 caps mm. in that sub list. Lucky. just left and wide yeah. uh, one of which Grace Stavitt she's she's actually been around since 2003 herself you know she again she's been unlucky to maintain a starting space mm. uh, in the Irish squad but I mean she's 47 caps now so Link Cantwell's try brings it to 27 nil uh, just 31 minutes into the the first half it's tricky enough for us to be Great take the from last uh, time the first half. Uh, what does Philip Doyle say to them at half time other than keep going you know it's uh, you know the game is put to bed is he going to be looking for you know stop looking at the oh. score and, and, and look for individual patterns and training ground things I suppose uh, certain things that can work on tighten up on, on their penalty count um I think two, 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 two penalties given away so far. Um, he should be happy with the the, the lineout. They've they've worn every lineout. Should certainly be happy with their scrums, uh, three against the head. I mean, I suppose just uh, maintain consistency and and, uh, and and good play. I mean, there's not many negatives here today, no, really, Adrian. No. Mary uh, Louise, their touch, but unfortunately, it didn't uh, come to the other side. No, but they're the the Scots. I mean, there we no, are. No less so than their scrum. They're struggling in the in the ties in both. Uh, both scrum and line out. It's great to see Ireland here. Extremely aggressive in the rock area. The uh, DC Lee there nearly uh, counter rocking, winning the ball. Just unfortunate. Uh, oh, that's a big hit. I'm not quite sure who made that hit, but it was. Uh, I'm seeing massive aggression here. It's yeah, wonderful really to is. see. You know, brilliant to see. Again, smooth hands out the back line. Penalty. Jack Shields takes it in. It's going to be a penalty to Ireland. Tackle entry one blue. In from the side, in uh, the side Scottish yeah. number seven. Cannot come in from the side. Penalty. Yeah, penalty. Ruth Slavin. So it's a penalty to Ireland at the halfway line. I'm sure they'll go to touch in this area. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that's one one aspect of the game that, that the Irish squad and the, the previous years have tried to work on is the aggression in, in the games and and counter rocking or even in our own rock ball rocking over the ball and it's very apparent that that's the, these these uh, these uh, yeah. factors are here it's brilliant yeah, to see they're, they're, they're definitely hitting harder aren't they so a fine touch kick there from North Stapleton brings play to the 22 see if there's any movement in the Irish line again That's Heather O'Brien takes cleanly in at four. Keep coming, three. I love to keep it in tight and roll it on, keep and they've got they a good bit of momentum, here. and they could go the distance here because that's very hard to defend Don't against. Defense the back of this month. Say more. And keep on driving. Sophie Spence in complete control of the back of that. She needs to make sure she maintains the contact there. It seems to be doing so, and it's yeah. they're getting closer and closer to the I try line. This very close now. Brilliant. 
Well, Philip Doyle will be very pleased with that. I mean, there was great control in that mall. I mean, they pretty much uh, went up 20, 25 metres, uh, 22 metres to the try line. Well, that was textbook. Absolutely. You see here the Irish subs warming up. I have no doubt that uh, Philip Doyle will start making changes. There's a few uncapped players on the bench. You have Kerry Ann Craddock and Ardiff Simons, uh, both who, of which have been in and around the the, the training mm. squads, but never broke through to the 22-23. So maybe it's their opportunity to, to show yep. show us who, what they're made of. The Stapleton from just inside the 22 again. That's uh. 32 to 32 nil now. Good strike. Oh, just the other side oh. this time. She overcorrected a bit, maybe. Unlucky, very unlucky. Great strike and great power Tracy. behind that ball. Tracy, we've had a number of penalties at the breakdown now. It's number six. So, so Sophie, Sophie Spence on a hat trick. Over here. One more. She's very now. Not off in a second row against <laughs> that she opportunity. Did, she did back in 2011, I think. Was it against Scotland? She Top scored two tries or Wales. Tracy, are we good? Thank you. Scotland about to uh, take the kick into Ireland. Just so Lisa Martin drops out. Mazzy again taking a very clean catch. Hold here. Again, Ireland uh, working quite well. Uh, that's Claire absolutely Malloy, right? super feet from Scorch Claire Malloy, she, unfortunately uh, knocked on afterwards. But that's outstanding footwork there, isn't it? Scotland uh, take on the ball. Great hit by Jenny Murphy. Number 12, Gillian Inglis gets caught there. And Katie Green for Scotland gets a rare chance to have a run with the ball in hand. And Cantrell need to be careful there, a bit high. She got away with it though. A bit of confusion yeah. Again, the Ireland, Cantrell rocking and we have the ball. Great. Scrum down, Ireland ball. Again, great counter rocking. <laughs> yeah. It's wonderful to see. Textbook. They are physically stronger though as well. I mean, it, it, there is an uh, extra aggression there, but they are the physically stronger side. You know, some predicted that, that Ireland's scrum wouldn't have been very strong due to the fact that you have a six and second row, uh, um, normally the back row quite light, but. I mean, it's very evident Bye. that they have a lot of power behind this Set. one. That's a better scrum that by Scotland, just as we say that. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> Turned, as I say, it's going to be reset again, Ireland ball. I think that's his focus. You always find when you're in, in, in a scrum yeah. situation, you're doing well, and you just don't switch on. Like, it's so easy. It's a mental game, really. Yeah. I just hope I don't predict, uh, you know, I hope Crouch. what doesn't happen is they come out in the second half Bye. and they're a bit lax. You know, Set. I hope that they maintain this performance because um, well, that's you know, it'd be very, very, you know. That, uh, that's surely one head. of the keys that Philip Doyle will be looking for. I mean, top sides, as, as Brent Pope loves to say, never give a suck on an even break. Mm. Keep the foot down and keep it going through the full 80. That's, uh, that's a good sign of a, a good team. Pass, two loose passes there. Um, firstly from... Uh, Maybe Jenny Davis Murphy. And then, then Cantrell. So just uh, one or two signs there, maybe of that little bit of slackness coming in between that scrum and then that was a bit more sloppy back play than we've become used to. Absolutely. Just I think overall Goose will be quite happy with, with Darren's performance. I mean oh. I mean, I mean, he should be. <laughs> 32, 32 nil down after 38 minutes. You know. It's Six tries, he has got to be happy. Absolutely. <laughs> they Again, obviously, they had a bit of a word about the, the, the previous scrummage and decided to refocus. Very good uh, defensive line there coming up to meet Scotland rather than leaving Scotland to meet them. So Lisa Martin <laughs> takes it on. Mark, Offside, I think, against it Ireland is. it's going to be. Ooh. Offside. Offside. Okay. The tap and go for imagination or did she go back an awful long way for that? She did. <laughs> Unless someone spoke to her oh, in a way she didn't like. Perhaps that was it actually, yeah. 
Uh, knock on there from uh, Scotland. Yeah, so it's yeah, turnover ball. Me, I think. And Norris Stephen kicks to. Does she make touch? No. And attack Chance again. for Scotland to counter and get a run. Let's have run. Kick ahead. That's uh, taken well. Oh, very well played by Norris Stephen. Well Good feet. Amy Davis getting caught there. She want to be careful inside her own 22. We'll be looking to clear this ball now, Adrian. Onside. Jackie Shields in position to kick, and she does. And a fine strike it is, but it's not going to make touch. Oh, Lisa Martin kick. can't quite judge it. And Alison Murray takes it in. From the Jackie Shields come into her up over, holding on by uh, Alison Murray. It was unfortunate, but Ali was there on her own, I think, uh, for quite some time, and, and as a result, yeah. holding on, I had to hold on to the ball. Impressive uh, kick from 22 from Jackie Shields, it I must say, to take uh, pressure off Ireland. She uh, Hi, a good distance on her, okay? A typical Ga player, I think she, she represented her county <laughs> as well many years ago. That's I think she good. was a fine Gaelic footballer as well as Neve Briggs, maybe it runs in, uh, in the, the GA. You do have time for the line. I always think this is a bit <laughs> overstated. Everybody talks about, you know, Irish rugby players have been very good under a high ball because okay, it's, a change made. it's an entirely different thing though playing catching a high ball over your head in, in Gaelic to catching one in the basket the when you've got fellas running at you um, we're wrong with it though These we're wrong with it yeah <laughs> we, won't, we won't fall out over it now rather so Lisa Martin nudging that one into touch okay guys here we go a little off the side of the foot didn't get a huge distance on it the angle was against her but it still wasn't quite uh, she doesn't seem to be kicking very well tonight, Adrian. I wouldn't think she's too happy with it. Uh, throw oh into the back of the tail. And, and it worked. It was a good line up by Scotland. Chance them now to really get at the oh Irish pass. back line with a some pass pass there. Oh Law was great hit and holding her up. And you can see that again. Obviously, Goose has them trained in the fine art of the choke tackle because they are clearly Turn looking to hold again. Up. You have Amy Davis running up, passing off to Heather O'Brien. Passing. Oh no, takes it in. Well done. Great turnover. Again, great turnover. Davis finds Stapleton. At the centre, Cantwell. And Murphy. Jenny up the middle again. Strong run, they as really, usual. They really are struggling to deal with Jenny Murphy, aren't Absolutely. they, on the crash? She seems to tackle. bring the defence in to exploit them on the outside. So it seems to be working at the moment. Kick from Jackie wonder. Shields, and uh, knock it's knocked on there knock from on. the Scottish. Yeah, Megan Gaffey, a little unlucky there, actually. She nearly, she nearly took a very good catch, yeah. but not quite able to That's hold half on time. To I mean, overall, they should be very happy with their performance. 32 points to nil, 40 minutes gone. Great try scored, yeah, not just the typical try, but a great, great, great try scored. Yeah, a good variety of, of well-controlled forward drives and, and back line moves. One off a, a good line-out, well-worked line-out move as well. So there's a good variety in that. I think Scotland need to be aware of, of Jenny Murphy in the middle. Uh, there takes too many defenders to take her down. And as a result, they're, they're lacking in the outsides. Yeah. They should be happy with their line -out. They seem to, they've got all, most of their balls, well, I think every ball so far in their line -out, and they shouldn't be too happy with their scrum. Yeah. So we've got a display from the girls from Ballon Robe and St. McDars in Port Leash and Fur House at half time. Can you come in that hour? Or are we going in there? We're going here. Okay. So uh, we look forward to you rejoining us after half time in a few minutes.